It's no secret that Fortnite has not felt the same over the past couple of years, excluding the OG season. Ever since the end of Chapter 3, it's felt like Fortnite has sort of lost its identity. And according to the community, it's felt like that now more than ever. Don't get me wrong, Fortnite is still widely popular with over a million players right now as I make this video, and a majority of those players are playing Battle Royale. It is the main reason why people load up or install Fortnite in the first place. Today, I want to discuss with you why it feels like Fortnite Battle Royale has slowly declined. And what I mean by that is it doesn't feel like the same game that we all fell in love with. Now, of course, games need to adapt and change and grow. I'm not saying Fortnite needed to be exactly how chapter one was or exactly how chapter two was, but it just feels like the heart and soul of the game is gone. And that could be for multiple reasons. It could be because of the lack of live events. It could be that there has been no effort in the Fortnite story ever since Donald Mustard left. It could be the focus on the new modes like rocket racing that is way too quick, like myself, and repetitive. Or it could be a culmination of all of this which brings us to the metaverse with Mickey Mouse Clubhouse arriving in a couple years. So with that said, go ahead and grab your coffee or apple juice and let's talk about it. And before we really get into it, I just want to be clear that this is coming from a love and passion for the game. I want to continue playing this game and I will continue playing it until the wheels fall off or Battle Royale is no longer a thing, which it's starting to feel like there might be a cap to that now, which has never felt like that before. But I feel like these are a couple topics that have been bothering me over the past couple years, and I want to talk about them with you. And I want to start with live events. Now, this has been a pretty popular topic over the past year or two. With the most recent Chapter 5 roadmap leak, it looks like we will be getting an event at the end of the season, but that's really it. Now, we could get many in-game events, but those really don't hit the same as the live events. Fortnite live events have been around since chapter one. I had never seen anything like it before in a video game and it was so much fun to be a part of. It really brought the community together and it was also a fun way to like help push the story and give us an understanding of what was happening with Donald Mustard's storyline. Plus they created the greatest memories like the showdown in chapter one, the black hole event, the collision event, Skyfire, there, I could just keep going on and on about how great these events have been besides Fracture. And it feels like besides the map that it's the heart of the game. These live events really brought personality and life to this Fortnite world and to these Fortnite characters. Like for example, Peely driving the slurp truck to save us during the collision event. Or when Singularity had to get in the mech and use that sword that was in Neo Tilted to essentially kill the monster and have that hero moment. It's hard to imagine Fortnite without live events. They've gone hand in hand in chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. And that's maybe what has made Fortnite feel so empty lately, is that us as a community has, have been starving for live events. Now, from a most recent Donald Mustard interview, he mentioned that the team that was working on the live events was slowly being pulled away from working on these live events to work on the newest modes of Fortnite. Now, with Fortnite live events, I feel like there could be a resolution to this, which is just, just having one at the end of every season or every other season would be ideal with a trailer concluding everything that happened leading into the next season it would be nice to have story trailers again along with those gameplay launch trailers pretty much every fortnite live event has trended on social media so i don't really see why they wouldn't get us back to these live events. I'm hoping with the hire of Charlie Wen that eventually we will be getting consistent live events again. I mean, Greek mythology is the perfect season to start up end of the season live events again. I mean, the theme is absolutely perfect for it. It's handed to them on a silver platter. All they gotta do is put in the effort and take it. The second topic I wanna talk about is yearly chapters. In chapter three and chapter four, we had four full seasons. Now in chapter four, we had the OG season, which then led into chapter five. But it feels like this is just too short and too repetitive for the Battle Royale. I mentioned earlier that the Fortnite map can really be the heart of the game. And it feels like with these shorter chapters, it really leaves no time for world building on this map like we got with chapter one and chapter two. I also feel it leaves no time for story buildup as well. It feels like a lot of the seasons from chapter three to chapter four to now are feeling a lot of copy and paste. And I will be getting into what I mean by that momentarily. Also with these yearly chapters, it feels like I don't really get to in invest in this whole chapter. Yeah, there might be some really good seasons like chapter three, season one, or chapter four, season four throughout these shorter chapters, but they don't get to be as memorable as like the chapter one and chapter two because those went on for way longer. Besides nostalgia, that's part of why people prefer chapter one and chapter two over these newer chapters is because we got to spend more time with them. I don't really think it has anything to do with gameplay 
or the creative ideas that they come up with because we've had some of my like all-time favorite weapons in like in chapter four in chapter five and in chapter three and it looks like the yearly chapters is going to continue with chapter five as we saw on the roadmap leading up to chapter six with four seasons an og season and then moving on to chapter six at the end of the year now i get from a business perspective where they're going with this is they're basically just quarterly money making seasons from a business perspective that's pretty much what battle royale feels like at this point which leads me to topic number three no effort into the story i mentioned that it felt very copy and paste since chapter four and now into chapter five where pretty much we get introduced to this really cool villain and then they die at the end of the season and there's really no build up throughout the season like for example here in the greek mythology season we went like four weeks without story quests and i feel like even with the story quests i haven't learned anything like why does zeus want to kill the mortals why does he want to destroy the map really have no idea and we've done weeks of quests i actually forgot about the storyline because there was a month break between the story quests in chapter 4 season 4 you set up this awesome villain in kato thorn that's time traveling he's a vampire then you revealed how he died through a quest like we didn't even get to watch it we didn't see what happened it's just like oh here you go he died and then in chapter 5 season 1 it's a little bit of a different story kind of not really there's a society they take Peely, they're taking Jonesy's banana, which I thought was a fun storyline to start off chapter five, season one with, but there was no story quest. It was kind of just nothing for a couple months. And then all of a sudden Jonesy saved Peely. I don't even know who really had him. I'm judging by the loading screen that it was Oscar that was holding him. But I mean, Peely could have been passed around, pause. But then the other storyline of chapter five, season one was Valeria opening Pandora's box, which feels like it hasn't really led to anything besides Greek mythology characters. It just feels like it's really messy. It's really boring. There's no real effort being put into this story. Like I just spent the past story quest pretty much getting a chew toy for Cerberus, which don't get me wrong, like it was adorable. But at the same time, like that's all it had to offer. I'm hoping with the hire of Charlie Wynn, that this is just the beginning and he's slowly building up to something but then that takes me back to the yearly chapters where in chapter five it's gonna end at the end of the year anyways like we got like six seven months left probably gonna start a whole new storyline in chapter six and it's gonna feel like there's no real conclusion to what he's built up in chapter five it'd be nice to have interesting dialogue quests again it'd be nice to have cutscenes. it'd be nice to have a cohesive story that really brings life to the game that you want to invest in but it hasn't felt like that ever since donald mustard left he really concluded the story in chapter three season two because chapter three season three it was the vibe in season it was really just a celebration of everything that came before it and i do have some hope and i feel like they're gonna make me feel dumb for having hope they could finish this last month of the season strong we could actually have some interesting story quests i'm hoping i am not thinking it'll happen but i'm gonna have hope who knows we could have a banger greek mythology live event at the end of the season that would be just the greatest thing ever not a mini event a full live event with cutscenes that we participate in that would be just amazing it's also been pointed out that the time travel glider had a date of may 4th so maybe something big is about to happen here in a few days don't know for sure though it could just be for star wars it, there's a high chance it'll be just for star wars but going off the chapter Chapter 5 roadmap the possible post-apocalyptic season in a marvel 2.0 could be great seasons for storylines to end chapter 5 they have real potential post-apocalyptic will probably get ruined with collab in the middle of the season with overpowered mythics but marvel 2.0 with dr doom as the main villain trying to finish the perfect society he could be the way he did leave on a cliffhanger at the end of the fortnite zero war marvel comics so there is potential there for a really good story for that season and last but not least the probably the biggest reason the fortnite battle royale feels like it's lost its identity it's on the downhill why it doesn't hit the same is the push for the metaverse it's no secret that epic game ceo tim sweeney is obsessed with the multiverse and that's his vision for fortnite with all of the creative maps we have even though people are just building red versus blue over and over and over or the pit there are some great maps in there some very creative fun maps and taking away resources from battle royale for the lego fortnite mode which can which has potential i will say lego fortnite has potential the fortnite festival and rocket racing that's already out and known to the public from donald mustard himself but a couple of those modes just get way less playtime and players compared to the battle royale and even the creative maps so i don't really think the metaverse is the right move for a game like fortnite because the battle royale is what everyone really wants to play sure we may take breaks from it but at the end of the day battle royale should be the main focus you can see lego fortnite has a healthy amount of players 
but not as much as it did when it first dropped. Not even close. Fortnite Festival, I feel like it stays pretty consistent. It's fun for about an hour, then you want to go play something else. Rocket Racing was a miss. It gets less players than most of the creative maps, than Battle Royale, than the other modes they introduced. The mechanics are weird and clunky. I don't really like them. It was supposed to be as popular as a Mario Kart, but it was it was a miss. Who knows? Now that I said this, they'll probably revive it somehow and it becomes the greatest mode ever. That's just my luck. But that'd be cool if it happened. And in a couple years, we will be getting Disney in Fortnite. I'm not really sure what that entails yet, but it feels like that kind of puts a cap on how much longer the BR has. Not to be dramatic. The BR could possibly have a cap of like two or three more years, really before it really, really drops off because it will definitely not be the main focus. It's already not really being the main focus now, but the Disney World or whatever it's gonna be called, uh, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, it's it's gonna take over hopefully i'm wrong about that right now it feels like that's where this game is going basically gonna be a commercial advertisement for disney and these other modes like save the world battle royale will become forgotten because of tim sweetie's obsession with the metaverse and who knows when disney comes there might even be a paid subscription to play these games like netflix or something I hope I didn't just give them an idea, but it could happen. But I guess that might be the problem with live service games because we also can't get anything back that we've played besides the memories. And I've had some incredible memories on this game. And I know it felt like throughout this video, I just hated on the game. I still love this game. I'm still gonna play it. I'm still gonna make content. There's just things that have really bothered me lately and I just wanna talk about them with you. I hope to see this game go in a positive direction. I hope to see Fortnite Battle Royale never dies. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code Toon Spider in the Fortnite item shop to support me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace!